Hi, Aries. This is Alex. And surprise, I am here with weekly readings or readings during the week instead of just on Fridays. I am trying something new and we'll see how it goes. Mondays, I'm doing earth signs. Tuesdays, I'm doing water. Wednesdays, I'm doing fire. And then Thursdays, I'm doing air. I hope you guys are all doing well and taking care of yourselves. So let's see what God Angels Universe has in store for wonderful Aries. Nice, temperance, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Seven of Cups. The World card, Capricorn. There you go, Aries, coming up in your own reading with the Emperor. Whew. <clears throat> Are you thinking and remembering about something that someone has done to you and trying to make a decision on whether or not you want to reach out to them? Um, somebody could have reached out to you and you're trying to figure out, do I need, a, should I, shouldn't I respond to this person? Uh, it was a cycle that you closed out and you ended. Uh, this person could have been incredibly dramatic, right? Just, just um, hard to deal with. That Ten of Swords says to me that, look at you got to Ten of Pentacles. Mm. Ooh, Aries, look at all these. Ugly cards. You got the Seven of Cups again. All right. So what do we have here? Let me get all of my cards in frame. Sorry. Shifting tripod. Okay. I think that's good. All right. So... It's almost like you were in the process of working on something, you know, I'm hearing getting something together. Like you were in the process of, you know, maybe taking care of business, maybe doing. Angels are saying to me too, for some of you guys, you could have been doing like a self-evaluation, a life evaluation, looking over your lives, you know, trying to figure out what to change what you want to improve upon, you know, what you need to eliminate. Um, angels are also saying too, yes, for some of you, you need a lot of spiritual guidance or you are seeking spiritual guidance, you know, definitely there with her kind of blending water and fire and, you know, mixing those two opposing elements. Um, for a lot of you guys, you could be thinking about or um, getting more into how to balance out your life. You know, how to balance out work with lo love, you know, family with work, family with love, you know, just situations like that. Um, angels are saying there was one particular situation that left you very confused. Um, not only that, but it kind of turned you way off Aries when it comes to relationships specifically. If this has to deal with a relationship, which I kind of have a feeling that we are kind of sideswiping a relationship here, which is completely your energy, Aries. As in, you know, it's not like I'm really looking for one, but if it happens, it happens, right? Like, you know, again, you're not going to dive right in and say, yeah, yes, hey, this is what I want. But I do kind of feel like there was some sort of situation that was really confusing, not necessarily clear. You know, it might have felt good at the time, but it, it's almost like it crashed and burned. And as a result of that, it left you completely closed off when it comes to relationships. It's almost like, you know what? I don't even want to, I don't even feel like being bothered. You know what I mean? I tried it. I came, I saw it didn't work out. So I'm out. Now here's the thing, because, you know, with this world card, of course, Capricorn showing, um, and the four of wands. It's almost like, you know, the world card has everything to do with, you know, completing cycles and things completing. And 
the integration and the, you know, combining things here, it's almost like, okay, now that I put all the ingredients in the world card is like, okay, what do I get? What is it? What is it that I want? What is it that I want to produce? What do I want the outcome to be? And I'm sorry, Aries, but with that four of wands there, again, angels just showed me your deflecting, right? Because I was going to say, you know, with that four of wands there, some of you guys might have settled on, okay, yeah, I want to be in a relationship. I want to be in something stable. I want to be married, right? But instead of saying, okay, I want to be married, you guys would more so say, okay, I just want something stable, you know, and you know, your person, is your person supposed to know that stable means marriage? Stable means committed relationship. I just kind of feel like to an extent, Aries, whatever baggage you have around your relationships, whatever happened previously here, kind of felt like maybe you might have been working on it or maybe putting more into it than your person and kind of maybe things didn't actually come together the way that you wanted them to. Instead, things were kind of all over the place. And as a result of that, you know, it kind of blocked and locked you off because you Aries are a creature of habit. Okay. You, you may not necessarily want somebody who's unpredictable, maybe opting for somebody who's more predictable, right? With the 10 of swords and the eight of cups, it's almost like, you know what, this is what puts you in this eight of swords. You just kind of gave up or felt like, you know what, this is just too much. And, you know, the Eight of Cups here is not necessarily turning his back on love permanently. This could be temporarily, but it's almost like you threw the baby out with the bathwater. It's like, look, I don't want to date. I don't want to chat. I don't want to do any of that stuff. I need to focus on getting these Ten Swords out of, you know, out of me and off of me. But one thing Aries too that angels are saying to me right now is that, you know, swords represent thought and communication and things of the mind, right? So I kind of feel like absolutely, if you are in a situation where you're like, no, mm -mm, I'm not doing it. Forget dating for right now. I'm just going to work on my job or, you know, my, fa my family, my house, whatever. I wonder if you're putting yourself there. In other words, your person, whomever this was previously, yeah, it could have been like a real shit show right? On, on, on ESPN, right? But your view of, on it, your perception of it, that's all coming from you. In other words, for the rest of us, we may just chalk it up to, oh, okay, that was just bad dating. You know, it's like, oh yeah, good. You got out of that. But it's almost like we just may make it a, a molehill, but Aries, you may be making it a mountain like, yeah, no, I mean, you know, if that's what dating is going to be, I don't want to date anymore. And we're like, dude, you just had a bad experience. You know what I mean? So anyway, and that's also represented here too with the world card as in don't necessarily, you know, one bad apple don't spoil the whole bunch is really what I want to say. Now, of course, again, here you went from the eight of swords to the nine of swords, which I'm actually happy to see the progression. And then we have the 10 of swords here. So it's almost like, yes, absolutely. World card. This stuff is coming to an end. Some of you with whatever this bad situation was, maybe this video was just that reminder that, you know what? It was just that person not dating in general or not like you suck at it or you know what I mean? And I think that's what these cards here are representing as well. It's almost like you're coming down hard on yourself because it's like, I didn't, I should have known better. I should have made a better decision. How did I get, you know, mixed up with somebody like that? It's almost like you are coming down on yourself unnecessarily hard and harsh, right? And perhaps maybe you're coming down on your person as well. You know, every last person on this earth has the right, has the right to be as messed up as possible. We are all works in progress. We are all, all on our own evolutionary path. Okay. So again, if you had a bad example, a bad experience, it's just an experience. It doesn't mean that that's how all of them are going to go. Okay. Now this to me, ironically says Aries, the universe is going to bring somebody else in, bring a message in, bring some sort of information in to help you clear this up, right? Of course, I could say to you, okay, you need to heal, 
right? But I'm not going to say that because it's it's just over said. We're all works in progress, hence healing, right? But I do kind of feel like there could be some information that comes in that provides you with whatever clarity it is that you're seeking. You know what I mean? It does provide clarity on, you know, what these um, Seven of Cups, you know, is. And at the end of the day, maybe the confusion is within you, right? Maybe say, for instance, you know, when it comes to temperance, Sagittarius, you know, kind of that blending, knowing what to do and, you know, um, knowing what to do in dating and relating, maybe that's something that, again, you need to brush up your skills and abilities on Aries. And I can hear somebody saying, well, how do you do that? I mean, there are a gazillion and five videos on YouTube. Um, ask your friends. That just kind of popped out as in allow your friends to help you. But, uh, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help from people to help you navigate through your dating and personal relationships. And an example of that is, well, you know, this girl keeps calling me and, you know, she's like, oh, I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to see you. One of your friends could be like, brah. That means she clingy or that means she, you know, she could be borderline stalker, right? Now, by the way, that may not be true, but that kind of input is what you need. You know what I mean? Because normally Aries, if somebody is banging up your phone like that, you may get all the way turned off and be like, you know what? See, this is why I don't want to date, right? But hearing it from your friend like, oh, she's clingy, that may say to you, okay, let me see if she's clingy. And by the way, I'm probably not going to do well with clingy people. So this one may not work out. You see what I mean? So I do kind of feel like instead of knocking yourself with this eight and nine and 10 of swords, instead of turning that stuff on you and locking you up and blocking you up, no, just kind of push it back on that person and then say, you know what? That may not be the best situation for me. Okay. Anyway, Aries, I hope that helps, you know. Give yourself a break. Like none of us have PhDs in dating and relating. Okay. We are all learning as we go. You are no different. Okay. So if you don't know, right, if you don't know, give yourself an opportunity to know. All right. Hope this helps guys. Like, share, subscribe. Love you Aries. Bye.